Hi, I'm Ray Braun. I'm the Dean of the College of Business at Bowling Green State University. Today I have the pleasure of introducing Master Teacher and Professor Dr. Kenneth Sneed. Ken is a good example of the type of interactive teaching we perform here at the University. I hope you enjoy this brief excerpt of Ken's teaching. I am going to mimic up here, I'm going to give you a miniaturization of a chemical bulk plant. I used to be a cost analyst for Ashland Chemical. I shared that with you, I think. And one, not only did Ashland Chemical manufacture resins and plastics, but they also bought chemicals already manufactured from other chemical companies and just stored these chemicals in strategic locations in the country and stored them in bulk and then they ship them directly, all right? These are called bulk plants. And what I have for you, let me give you this first. I want you to take this sheet. I developed this example, which again is an example of typical activity that you would experience in one of these chemical bulk plants. And while you're looking at that, I'm using this clear liquid to represent beginning inventory. So if you walked into this bulk plant, now remember this is obviously a miniaturization, all right? If you walked into this bulk plant, you would see five ounces, right? Or probably 500,000 pounds, okay? To make it more realistic, of this chemical. And it has a value of how much per ounce? 80 cents, which means what's the total cost that I started May with in this bulk plant? Four dollars. All right. Where does that go on the board? Beginning inventory, right here. Start it off. Four dollars. On May 5th, what happens? They purchase this same chemical, and I'm using the first purchase to, to represent red. And what are they, this is 20 ounces, all right? And how much are they paying per ounce? A dollar. A dollar, all right? Now let me tell you what actually happens. We have chemists on site at these bulk uh, plants. We just don't let a vendor bring in a big load of chemicals and just dump it into our, our bulk plant. We have to make sure it's, it's what we ordered and it, and it conforms to our quality specs. So after a chemist has QC quality controlled this, then it's allowed, right, to, to be put in. So, now, here's the problem, what I'm trying to get you to see. What has now lost its identity? Clear. The clear, and not only has the clear lost its identity, but so has what? This recent purchase. It's now all commingled together. So far are we okay? Mm -hmm. Document that on the, in your notes. $20 purchase. Now, on May 21st, another purchase. Prices are going up or down? They're going up. Prices are going up. So we bought 16 ounces on May 21st, represented by the blue. The different colors represent different prices. The blue is now going to come in. It's been quality control inspected. And purchasing is authorized it to come in at $1.10. And so now we add this to our holdings. And so now, obviously, this is looking gross. I know. Yeah, that's pretty close to my Diet Coke, not Pepsi. That's right, Coke. Oh, minus five. <laughs> now, what's lost its identity? Everything. The clear, right? The initial purchase of red and blue, and finally the completed on nearly the end of May, we have another purchase, smaller purchase, eight ounces, above 20, it passes quality control inspection, and we pour it in. All right, now, what are we doing up here? Beginning inventory plus the red purchase, how much is the blue purchase? 1760, and the green? Now, right now, you tell me, where is cost of goods available for sale up here physically? It's right here. How many ounces are in here? Look at your sheet. 
There are 49 ounces of this chemical available for sale. And what's the total cost associated with this? $51.20. What I'm asking you is this. That's the big question. You got $51.20. You have to account for all $51.20. The question is, how in the world do you figure out from this, this colored ooze, right? Because how many ounces are in here right now? 49. How many ounces did I tell you remain at the end of May? Which means they're sold, all right? During the month, we pumped out of here 39 ounces, all right, of chemical. There's the 10 ounces, right, at the end of May that we have in any inventory. And here's the 39 ounces that were sold that are physically no longer, right, a part of our operation. And folks, that's what you got to do. You got to ask yourself this question. How in the world do I add up, take this cost of goods available for sale, which sums to $51.20, and figure out how much ends up going to cost of goods sold and how much ends up going to ending inventory. So what your assignment is in this area for tomorrow is come up with a net income for this bulk plant for the month of May under LIFO, FIFO, weighted average. Pick the method that you think gives the most appropriate net income for external users. There is not a right answer. You have to defend your choice. Well, you've just seen one of my classroom experiences where I actually use colored water to illustrate cost flow assumptions. And I want you to know that the reason I was asked to participate in this webcast was because I had the honor of winning the university's Master Teacher Award. And also you need to know that the reason that I won this award was because I was fortunate enough to have discovered my area of passion, which is teaching. And there are many, many other faculty like me in the College of Business that also share the same level of passion for their particular area of interest. And what I want for all of you is for you to discover your passion in the College of Business. And we have incredible amounts of resources. We have many specializations that you can choose from as you find your way to your passion. So please think about coming to the College of Business Administration at Bowling Green State University and allow us to help you discover your passion. Thank you.